What's happening everybody? Welcome back. This is Forgo. And in the last video, I had a comment asking me, how is it that you have 37,000 CP on your level 10 Ignis when I only have 30,000 CP? Well, this is my free to play account. And if you take a look at my Ignis here, uh, you can see my capsules. I have 62 HP capsules, 109 attack, and I have 87 defense. It's very important to remember because we'll do, we'd be doing a comparison with my whale account. My affinity is at level 10, all my cores are completely unlocked, and I do have a Akane card set on him with two Maxima cooldown cards and a 3PG card. I'm showing you all this because I'm going to have the exact same build on my Whale account. You guys can see the actual difference between them. And so we're rocking a total of 28,585 CP. So now let's jump on my Whale account and see what the difference is. Okay, so now we're on my whale account. So let's see what the difference is as far as our CP. So if I scroll down here to Ignitz, he is level 10, just like on my free-to-play account. You can see I got 36,807 CP compared to 28,585 CP on my free-to-play account. I have almost 8,000. Well, actually, I have about 8,000 more CP on this account versus my free-to-play account you can look at my capsules they're exactly the same 62 hp 109 attack 87 defense right we have affinity level 10 all the cores are completely unlocked everything is the same my card set is an akane set with two maximum cooldown cards and one 3pg completely maxed out they're exactly the same so how is it that i have so much more cp on this account versus my free-to-play account? Well, you veterans already know the answer, and maybe you monitor players already know the answer, but it is my codex. The codex is the reason why I have so much more CP on my veteran or whale account, because I've been playing this account a lot longer. And what you're trying to essentially do is, you're trying to level up every single character to level 30, to level 60, to level 90. Whenever you take a character up to level 30, you're gonna get more CP on your account. Right? Whenever I take Kim Capwan here, he's already at level 60. When I take him to level 90, I'm actually going to gain 10 HP, 4 attack, and 3 defense, right? And that's going to increase my CP. And for every single character that I take up to level 30, to level 60, to level 90, I'm going to gain that much more CP. And it's the same with your card codex, you know? Whenever you collect cards that you don't have, you're actually going to be able to gain CP on this as well. Now, it only goes up to 2,500. And then you have your affinity here. The more characters that you have the affinity leveled up on, the more affinity you're actually going to gain. So you can see I have all of these completely unlocked. It goes up to 1,550, right? So whenever you level up your affinity for your character, all you got to do is click on here, click on affinity, switched around and now I can look at the characters that need affinity so a lot of these characters are already at level nine but if I wanted to level them up a little bit more right well well you know what actually what we should have done is we should have looked at my affinity level right here so it's 3192 right and we'll level up affinity a little bit more okay so we just added a little bit more affinity Let's click on craft there. I want to click on codex. So now we're at 3195. Once you get up to 1550, it really doesn't matter as far as your infinity, but you do always want to level up all your characters to their infinity to level 10 because then you're going to get the max attack and you're going to get 50 rubies for every time you take a character uh, affinity up to level 9, which is very important, right? To get all those rubies. So this is why, this is why my veteran account is doing uh, so much better as far as CP. Because all of these things, I've gotten all of the stats. You know, I got all 31 of these unlocked. I have all of the cards that I can unlock, right? You know, I've already got up to 2,500. Uh, the more cards you get, the more unlockable CP that you're going to get. I mean, 8,000 more CP is a pretty massive difference. And whenever I take more characters up to level 90, and really, you know, really by now, I mean, a lot of players like myself, uh, veterans like myself, they're going to have all of their characters up to level 9 or up to, I'm sorry, up to level 90 so they can get as much CP as possible. So, I mean, like, for example, you know, uh, Becky here, 
Really, I should be leveling her up even more. Right? So I should be taking her up to level 90. Okay. Level her up. And there's really no reason why I shouldn't. I got plenty of resources. I'm just lazy, to be perfectly honest. So I just took this character up to level 90. Right? And now, I can go in my codex. You see I got the little red dot up in the right-hand corner. And booyah, I can click on that and look at that. Since I took her up to level 90, I'll be able to gain some more attack, defense, and HP. Obtain reward. And booyah, if this thing ever loads. It definitely takes it a bit of time for sure. Yeah, today, today. Wow, this is ridiculous, right? So there I gained a little extra CP, right? I gained an extra 10 HP. I gained an extra four attack and I gained an extra three defense. So that added a little bit more CP to my account. Let's go back to grade. Lore, there we go. And now I'm rocking 36,812 CP. So that's really the trick. And that's why it's important to level up as many characters as you can. Now, early on in the game, you know, like on my free to play account, you know, my CP is just so much lower because I don't have the resources. I'm not, I'm not able to farm the amount of resources that I can farm. I don't have the, I don't have the amount of AP. So for example, like on this account, not really for example, but on this account, my rank is 383, right? It's 383, whereas on my free-to-play account, it's much, much lower. It's in the hundreds, right? And the higher your rank, the more AP you're actually going to be able to gain. So, like, whenever I use one of these recovery uh, bottles here, I can actually recover 100, 854 CP. Whereas on my free-to-play account, I can only obtain uh, 94 AP. <laughs> I mean, that's a big difference, right? So, you know... As you play the game and as you become more of a veteran or you get to be more of a moderate player, you're going to increase the rank of your account. And as you increase the rank, you're going to also increase the amount of AP that you're going to be able to obtain every single day. And the more AP that you can obtain, the more you can farm, the more that you can jump into all these game modes, get more cores, get more experience balls, and level up your characters. That's why this account does so good because I've been playing it so long versus the free-to-play account, which is only just a little over a month old, so I don't have that higher rank level. I'm not able to farm as many resources as I would like to farm because it's just a newer account, right? This is kind of the benefit of being a veteran, whether you're a free-to-play veteran, a whale veteran, it really doesn't matter. This is the benefit because, you know, this is one of the ways that the game rewards you for playing the game for a long period of time. So hopefully this will shed some light on the CP differences between all of our accounts. So make sure that you are leveling up as many characters to level 30, to level 60, to level 90. So you can increase the amount of CP that you have. Also make sure that you're leveling up your infinities on your characters. Again, to increase that codex, to increase your CP. And I do stream on Twitch at 9 p.m. GMT plus 7 time. The link will be in the description below. And I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching. Y'all take care and have a good one. See ya.